The next item on the agenda is the explanation of the hearing procedure and review of reorganization booklet uh, content. I'm going to turn this over to uh, Dr. Forsyth. Thank you. Um, first of all, just a little bit of an explanation of the hearing and uh, why we're here and what the AEA's role is. Um, Iowa Code gives the AEA's both the authority and the responsibility for school reorganizations, although the final authority is left up to the electorate and you're aware of that, that there will be a, an election. Um, but the petition process comes to the AEA board, and the AEA board has the responsibility to take a look at that petition and ensure that certain guidelines and certain things are in, in line, and then um, approve that petition to go forward to the election. And um, one of the, the main charges, if you will, that the state of Iowa gives to the AEA in this process is summed up in this quote that I'd like to read to you. It is the policy of the state to encourage economical and efficient school districts, which will ensure an equal educational opportunity to all children of the state. And uh, that's really the, um, the important bottom line, if you will, that I know has been at the forefront of your um, boards and community committees as they have looked at this process as well as what the AEA board will be considering as they go forward. So the AEA uh, board is charged with reviewing the, um, the petition as it comes forward. The AEA board is also required to have a plan for school reorganizations and that will be, um, that will be referenced and reviewed later. And then the hearing process, um, what will happen this evening is there will be an opportunity for the petition, uh, the petitioners to present the petition and explain the rationale behind that petition. There will be an opportunity for others of you to um, present some comments as well. The AEA board will make sure that they have all the information that they need um, through going through the agenda process. And then ultimately tonight, um, the AEA board will, uh, will make a decision, either the decision on the petition or there are some other options, which when we get to that point might be explained in terms of um, if they feel they need more information to continue um, the information gathering process to another date, although I don't anticipate that necessarily happening. So what I'd like to do at this point is, is walk through the um, notebook information that I have in front of me and all of the AEA board members have in front of them so that you know what we're looking at. Um, the first thing we have in our notebooks is an agenda that just outlines the process for tonight and that will be um, approved formally in a few minutes. Um, the next thing that the AEA board has is a copy of the actual petition for reorganization of the school districts. This is the petition that was passed around in your communities and outlines the um, proposed terms, if you will, of the reorganization. Um, outlines the boundaries and the election of the boards and or the new board and those things. And then it also includes um, copies of all of the signatures. So the ABA board has all of that information here in front of them. And then the next thing that the AEA board has in front of them is a copy of the public notice that went out um, that, that was the notice of this hearing and also the notice that went out uh, letting people know that they have an option to file uh, objections basically objections of two kinds. One of them is an objection to exclude property from the newly proposed school district, and then the other one is an objection to the petition itself. Um, and so that, that was published um, actually back in July, and then the board also has the uh, proof of publication from the various uh, newspapers in which that notice was published back in July. The next thing that the AEA board has in front of them then 
is actually an excerpt from the, that ADA plan that I referred to that all ADAs are required to have, that reorganization plan. And they have the section of that plan where it actually talks about the school districts and what their reorganization options might be. Um, and then the next section that we have is the actual, some of the legal, um, legal requirements, the timeline for this particular um, reorganization, the Wall Lake U Auburn Sachs Vinnie reorganization, and then just a description from the uh, manual from the Department of Education, which is based on the various Iowa Code uh, guidelines around timelines and requirements related to school reorganizations that help the board know that they've got um, everything, got all their ducks in a row, if you will, and that everything is in order. And then the final thing um, that they have in their notebook is an actual map of the proposed um, new school district showing where the boundaries would be um, in that new school district. So um, that is what we're looking at up here and a pretty brief but at least a little bit of an overview of how the hearing process will go at this point. So. Thank you. Are there any questions?